Hey everyone, Anton from GoLogin here. Today we're going to talk about Cloud Browser. Now, isn't GoLogin a Cloud Browser by itself? Yes and no, and I'm going to show you how. Now, when you use a desktop app, for example, Windows and Mac, and you click Run right here, the profile will run on your device. So, for example, if you click it, it will open a new window, and it will use resource of your device. Now, if you go to this menu, and you click run in cloud, the profile will run in our server. So it means that it will run in the cloud and not your machine. If you click it and then click view, it will open in this regular browser I have here. So if you can see it, this is a regular browser that I use, it's Google Chrome. And inside of it, this is your profile that is running on our server in the cloud. This is why it's called cloud browser. Now, you can use it from our web app as well that I'm going to show later. The beauty of cloud browsers is that when you use your desktop app, the amount of profiles running simultaneously is limited by your device. So, for example, if you have a Mac, you can run like 30, 40 instances of browser because it's going to be limited by your RAM, your CPU. While with cloud browsers, they can actually be scaled infinitely. So you can actually automate everything and run hundreds and thousands of instances. Now, why would you actually need a cloud browser? It's very simple. One potential use case is, for example, when you travel a lot and you don't have your desktop or laptop, you can actually use it from any browser you want. So you take a normal browser, for example, from iPhone or iPad, and you log in with our web app to your profile, which is not using your device, but is using our cloud server. So you run the profile from our web app, appgologin.com. You can sign in from our website and you'll run the profile from here. It's completely identical as our desktop as well. And it's completely safe as well. So again, the profile is running inside your regular browser and it's completely safe. Now, the second use case about this is actually way bigger than the first one, and it's about the API. Using the cloud profiles can be completely automated with the API or MCP. We have a separate video on MCP as well. It's down in the description. Now, the thing about cloud browser profiles is that they don't take your resource of your hardware. So, for example, if you need a thousand profiles and you need to automate or you need to run them simultaneously, your profiles are limited by the hardware that you have on your desktop or laptop or server. While with cloud profiles, you are not limited by your hardware, so you can actually scale infinitely. So cloud browsers can be operated with API or MCP, and they can be scaled infinitely. So for example, if you have an AI tool or AI agent, or if you're in browser automation, you can consider cloud browsers as well, because they are able to cut costs massively. So for example, if you're running a thousand or hundred profiles, and you're running them on your own server that you rent or buy, you can compare costs with cloud browsers that run on our premises. And each of the cloud browser profiles has its own browser fingerprint and IP address, which makes it completely safe and very much scalable. If you want to know more about how cloud browsers work, simply get a free demo to see how can they be implemented for your business and use case.